First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, again, this morning we're seeing and feeling those temperatures in the low 20s and upper teens in some cases. A little bit warmer back to the west because a more southerly wind flow is starting to kick in now. And as we go through the day, you're going to feel a difference in the temperature, especially later this afternoon. Here's a look at First Alert Live Doppler Radar with a very cold 21 degrees showing now over Bowling Green. And as we check temperatures across the Kentucky Mesonet Network, we are seeing mostly 20s and even a 30 degree reading back in Madisonville. 21 here as mentioned, 28 Glasgow, Scottsville. But then you look down in the valley in Burksville there at 18 degrees this morning and a cold 22 back over in Albany and Clinton County. These temperatures will start to really warm up today thanks to a more southerly wind flow, which is going to kick in. In fact, we're already seeing the arrows starting to point to the north, which means we're getting a more southerly wind. It's pretty calm here in Bowling Green, but there's a little bit of a 10 mile per hour wind up in Hartford. You see almost that much in Edmonton, and that's providing even a little bit of a wind chill this morning. Makes it feel like it's 26 over in Edmonton. Feels like it's 21 in Litchfield. Right now with that 10 mile per hour wind, it feels like it's 15 degrees in Hartford. Feels like it's 19 in Franklin. So if you're waiting for the school bus this morning, that little bit of a breeze makes a big difference. So dress warmly. And it is going to warm up today. Here's the uh, hometown forecast for the Lake Malone area. 57 today for Greenville. Central City, Powderly, all over in Muhlenberg County. Sunshine, 56 for the Morgantown area in Butler County. 58 for Russellville, Logan County, and Elkton and Todd County, 58 today. The, by the way, the Powerball jackpot for Saturday night, now at an estimated $130 million. There was no winner last night. And the Mega Millions next drawing estimated to be at $149 million. Here is a live view from our weather cam high atop Independence Bank on Scottsville Road. Seeing that clear sky and a current temperature of 21 degrees with the winds calm and the pressure rising. We check a few weather cams. Here's Russellville in Logan County. We mentioned 28. Your current temperature, you've been as low as, low as 25 there this morning. Greenville, you're at 28. You've been as low as 25, and you'll be some of the first to feel that warmer southerly flow as we go through the morning there in Muhlenberg County. Franklin and Simpson County, you're at 26 after starting out at 24 degrees. 21, the Current temperature at the Bowling Green Airport at this hour, lots of 20s, a few 30s here and there, but the bigger warm-up is back to the north and west of us as you're seeing 10 to 20 degree jumps in temperature. Kansas City right now, 20 degrees warmer than at this hour yesterday, while we are 2 degrees cooler than yesterday. Here's a look at the 12-hour radar. Nothing going on with pretty much a 500-mile-plus radius around Bowling Green and south-central Kentucky, and that's because high pressure still sitting here, but a little bit further south and east of us from where we were yesterday when it was sitting right on top of us. So this means now, as it continues to slowly move southeast, a more southerly wind flow is really going to help us warm up today. But it also opens up the Gulf of Mexico a little bit, allowing a few more mid and high level clouds to kind of stream through tonight. During the day tomorrow, we'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine. Any kind of rainfall is going to stay well southeast of us as we're waiting on a much bigger system out west that will be here by Saturday night into Sunday. Sunny, breezy and warmer today, 57. Then tonight, not as cold, but still chilly, 31 and partly cloudy. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, 58, a few clouds here and there. A much warmer 67 for Saturday with increasing clouds. It should be dry much of the day, but by evening, rain will be moving in. Then windy, warm, thunderstorms likely Sunday. Some of those could become severe, as a matter of fact, a high of 72. Showers ending Monday morning, then a morning high of 63 with dropping temperatures in the day. And then another cold blast for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Highs only in the 40s.